Let's go, girls. Come on. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Okay, let's see. I have to do this super fast, so if I'm super... Linda. Listen. Listen. Oh, sorry. I just stuck my thumb right in front of the camera, which is not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to click my autofocus button. Hopefully that works. So much for being super fast. Okay, I have to leave in about some time. I have to take my kids to the dentist, so I have to leave early. Um, but before we do all that, today is August 7th, 2019. Linda, be nice. And we are on Tube 24. I'm Amy, and welcome to the crazy. So, last video I showed you guys from day one up until whatever day that was, I think it was the 24th maybe, of my Christmas in July. So I'm going to show you the rest of it here. And arbitrary August. I have to speak super fast, so I'm sorry if I'm brambling and rumbling through. And I'm probably going to forget a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk to you about today. Such is life. So, I worked on Santa's house. on the 25th and man I'm so close y'all here we go so what I worked on on the 25th actually were these trees and a little bit of the nutcracker Linda focus so because I have the houses done so I worked on the trees a little bit of the snow finishing up the nutcracker there so there's that 25 and of course I didn't I was smart the first time around and I tabbed everything that I worked on this time not so much because why would I do such a thing okay this one is night before Christmas nope which is that guy right there okay this is from just cross stitch December 1992 and of course the one picture I'm working on is not on the front cover and I'm trying not to lose my places here. So this is what the magazine looks like. I won this from Jennifer Upton's back in December. And it is without showing the chart. And I just lost my page. That's fine. And everything's falling out. Okay, that's fine too. This guy right here is the first one. And I believe the second one is right here. Okay. And so I'll show you progress on the first one, which is the little Christmas tree by the chi chimney. Is it this way? Yeah, this way. Because the wreath is up here. And there's the fireplace. Doesn't look like much, but that's okay. And then the next one I worked on was the little mouse with the ornament. So here's the ornament and the little mouse. And I actually, I don't know how well we'll be able to see this, if we'll see it at all. I actually used the etoile threads in through here. Those were super fun to work with. They're a little fluffy, I guess is the right word. Um, so yeah, fluffier than the regular DMC. So I got stuck on a few things, but that's okay. And then I'm working on all of these different Santas. So they have it like a, is that considered a bell pull? I'm not sure. I'm doing them individually. That's the three Santas. And because I need to do this quickly because I am on a time limit, of course, I'm going to make this complicated. So it's kind of hard to tell which Santa's which, but I can tell by the way the hat is going. So this is Santa 1. So this little face is over here. This is Santa 2. And so on this one, I actually finished my crosses. Not that you can tell because Linda. And on this one, I only did half crosses. And you can see I was starting to fill back in. So what I was doing is the first time around, I was going through and I was actually counting. And then um, when I had a moment or I was waiting in the car to pick up my kid or whatever, I didn't have to bring the pattern. I could just cross my X's. And then there's the third one, which kind of looks like a weird puppy. 
but there you go. So there's those. So that was day 26, 27, 25, 26. No. What? Santa's house was 25. So 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And then my last one was Snow Much Fun. And this was um, World of Cross Stitching issue 247, November 2016. And it's this one right here. I feel like my camera is dark. My room is nice and bright. The camera itself is dark. Don't know why. So, and then I'm also using is this pistachio. I think this is pistachio. Did not get very far. I was working right in his belly. Hold on. This is on to the left, so this is the correct way. There we go. And again, I didn't finish my crosses, right? You know, I just did my half stitch. And that's color and cotton pistachio. 18 count Eda. So there's all my Christmas stuff. Now, are y'all ready? Because August gets kind of crazy. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, this thing right here in my hand. First, let me get this out of the way. Little bit of news. I'm super excited, so I want to share it with you. That didn't take too long. It was only six minutes. Okay, anyways, don't get distracted. Focus, focus. These are my new color street, and these have got to be my favorite set so far. I love the splatter and the, okay, what if I do this? Does this make it better? Stop. Linda, work with me. So this one is called Mind Over Splatter. Okay, what if I do this again? Linda, I think we're okay. Okay, stop. Behave yourself. It doesn't help that I think it might be cloudy, so my phone might be registering the lighting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I try to talk like I know what I'm talking about because I don't know what I'm talking about because it requires technology. Technology and I don't get along. Back to what I was saying. Mind Over Splatter. These have got to be my new favorite set. They're from the Summer Pop Collection. I might end up ordering a few before they release the fall set sometime hopefully in September um, but my exciting news and I will try to do my best to remind the hubby to link it down below is that y'all I faced my fears so if any of you saw on Monday um, I did my very first stitch with me now it's what I consider a cheaters stitch with me because number one I didn't have to look at the pattern because it was all just 310 um, I wasn't skipping around. I wasn't counting. It was literally just lines of 310 back and forth. And so for me, I think it was a good practice to kind of see how I would feel about it. I'm pretty sure that the next Stitch With Me's going forward may not be as talkative as I was on my first one because it's actually going to require counting and figuring out where to hide my pattern so you guys don't see it. But I can still see it and all that sort of stuff and learning how to set things up. Um, so Stitch With Me is finally done. I've gotten over the fear. I've done it the first time. I think I can keep going with the Stitch With Me's possibly on Mondays. That's the game plan. Life happens. But that's the plan going forward is Stitch With Me Mondays. Floss Tube Wednesdays. And Scissor Fob Fridays. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah. Scissor Frog Fridays, is, that's the game plan for my channel. For my color street, I have released the Gidge Box. So there is a basic Gidge Box and a super Gidge Box. Um, I will have my husband, if I can remember, to link the Google Doc form down below. So if you are curious, want to know what the heck I'm talking about, um, you can click on that and just kind of read over it and see if you're interested. It's a monthly subscription and I'm a little nervous because I'm the one who's picking your boxes for you. So um, I want to make sure that everybody gets what they want and, and what they love and things like that. So I don't want to screw it up. So it makes me a little nervous, but that's okay. It's okay. 
getting over the fear, getting over the fear and just going for it. Um, so there's that. Gidge box was talked about. I did my Christmas in July. Talked about changes that are going to be happening on my channel. Um, see, I feel like I'm forgetting something because I was, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do this in such a hurry and I was in such a panic and I'm talking super fast and now I don't remember if there was anything else that I needed to discuss. But I feel like this is out of order. It is not out of order. Okay, we're going to go with it. So we are on day seven, so six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so for August, arbitrary August. Every, um, I started doing this last year with um, a lot of other people, but I learned about it from Michelle, who is Michelle Garrett, Bendy Stitchy, and um, I fell in love with it, and I really went gung-ho for with it even after August ended. And I don't know why I ever stopped. And I think I stopped to remind myself how much I love it. So, because every week I tell myself, oh, can I really do a floss tube video? I only worked on one project. Is it really worth talking about? But then going this way, um, the way the arbitrary August works is that I work on seven projects a week. So the first one is um, Sing a Sample, I always say it wrong, Sing a Sampler Series by Silver Creek Samplers, which is glare. This one right here. And I'm sure many of you know who Jan Hicks is. She's my stitchy hero. Um, I was watching her, one of her videos a while back, and I had gotten the pattern, but I didn't have the flosses at the time. So when I saw the way she was doing it, I was like, yep that's it so because originally I was going to save up pennies and try to order the weeks and the gentle arts yeah those are the two that they use weeks and gentle arts but when I saw the way Jan Hicks now the way Jan Hicks is doing it is also accredited to someone else and she mentions that in her video but at the time she didn't know who the name was I don't know who the name was of the young lady um, but anyways I, I got it from Jan Hicks and so it's instead of doing the do re mi straight across in a strip, it's taking do re mi fa sol la ti do. So we're going to just split it and put the blocks up and down instead of straight across. I am using color and cotton, surprise, right? 16 count uh, sea breeze. And this is what I have gotten done so far. Whoops. Hopefully we can see that don't get your projects so now as of when I started this on the first I had when you know the done and then so notes to sing and then this part of the dough is what I got done on the first um, all of my threads so far are all color and cotton colors from um, the monthly subscriptions that I'm in so I won't read off the names but you can kind of get a glimpse in there maybe of what the colors are so and I'm super excited about that so that was day one the wheel has been really nice to me so far because there are a few projects in there that I'm like oh, do I really wanna but my game plan is to touch every single project minus like the Christmas stuff because I just did all those my Christmas wheel is on the wheel though, so if it does land on that, I will pick something from my list that was not finished and um, obviously work on that. But my game plan is to touch every project, the ones that I haven't neglected. Like I have a Thomas Kincaid Snow White that I haven't touched in my Magnificent Wizard, who I'm not on speaking terms with. They're all on the wheel, so everything will get touched twice this month at least because I made two separate wheels. So, this is the next one that came out, which is the Green Bay Packers one. So yeah, I put, um, I think it was 14, and then I just duplicated the wheel, 
and then that way when I spin it I have to remove it from the wheel so I don't do it again until everything's been touched at least once and here is where I'm at so far with this this is all also on color and cotton um, 18 count sage and I worked on let me see if I can okay all right listen fingers I worked on some of this down here so I don't think it's coming out too bad not too shabby okay folding it in a different way so my creases aren't stuck in the same direction every time there we go so that was day two it's back in my little cart over here I'm trying I'm trying to stay organized I love how easy it is to find things if I just stay organized the next project was my mythical medieval mansion style. This guy. And I've been watching Instagram and everybody's finishing it. It's already done. It's done. I'm not there yet. Okay, so let me show you what I got so far. In case we don't remember. Here's where I'm at so far. I'm so close. I think I'm scared of finishing things because that means eventually I'm going to have to FFO it. So I get so close and then I just kind of and I stop. But here is where I worked. Whoops. This time around I had the two ladies done with the table and then I worked on the little, I think it's like a fireplace stove something or other that goes over here. So there's that one. That's the reason why I like doing the Arbitrary August because it it doesn't force me because obviously I'm a big girl, I do what I want, but it encourages me to work on projects that I haven't touched in a while. And I feel like I may have stuck this up too high. So let's just bring that down a notch. There we go. Because I keep adjusting in my seat to try to sit up taller so I can reach my camera. So there's that. And then, so I'm sure as you guessed, um, if you did the math, 14 and 14, that's only 28. So I think maybe, because there's 31 days and it's my birthday month, that um, the last three days or so, I might do a new start. And just let those three days be my new start as my reward for doing all the things. Okay, and then my next one, day four I think we're on, because I can't keep count, is Crazy Cat Chloe. I'm doing this one for my little Scarlet because this just reminds me of her. The big old brown eyes, the glasses, the cats, hair in the face, it's all scarlet. And this is the one that I was trying to do the parking thing and doing the column by column. Man, I just did not get a lot of progress done on this. I think it's because I'm doing the column by column. But okay, originally I was parking, so you're going to see some random crazy threads all over the place and you can't see that because... I'm down here. There we go. Let me just keep folding stuff, okay? Hold on. <laughs> there. Are we kind of closer somewhat to where you can see what's happening? Okay, so these par these ones I was parking. And these ones are all parked until I get to the next page. And then these ones are the ones where I was trying to do column. So like you can see this is the column. And then if I didn't have anything left over here, I moved it over to this side. So now all of these are for this column. And I love the theory, and I'm still trying to stick with it. I love the theory, but I feel like it slows me down. And I know that in the end it doesn't, because I'm not hunting and pecking at the end, like down here, where I have a couple of little squares that I need to fill in, and I have to hunt and peck to figure out which ones those are. Ooh, I need to file that. Sorry. Um, I have to hunt and peck to figure out if I'm in the right spot, if I did it right, so on and so forth. So what I did was, is I had a huge chunk of this red that needed to be done that day, so I just went for it. I just did the, I did, I think, one row of the parking technique and went, no, I don't have time for that. I only get one day with this project. And I came in and did some of the red on the shirt. So there is that. And I've been keeping track of my stitches just to kind of see where I'm at and how far along I've come. And I think I literally only got like... 80 stitches on this one which hey every stitch counts I'm not complaining I just feel like either 
I was just not in the mood that day or I had convinced myself that the parking was going to slow me down and therefore it did. I don't know. Who knows? Next one I worked on, and this was the Stitch With Me project, was the Tilton Crafts. Be Mine, which I was kindly gifted by uh, Michelle. And this was a new start, uh, not new start, a new page start, I should say. And then you'll understand what I mean by the cheating. So can you guys, oh, I can't see you. There we go. So here's where I'm at. Here's page one, page two, this is page three. These top two rows are what I did for the stitch with me. And that's why I said I didn't have to look at a pattern. I didn't have to count anything. I wasn't skipping any stitches. It was literally straight across three times. So it worked well for the stitch with me. And I lucked out that that's just what happened, um, that my wheel just happened to pull for that day. But next Monday, I will not be so lucky. It'll be my luck that I'll get Magnificent Wizard. And there won't be any talking at all. It'll just be counting. <laughs> because that project... Um, I'm not saying that I'm incapable of doing half stitches and fractional stitches and quarter stitches and all the stitches with the things. Um, I just don't like them. They confuse me. They hurt my eyeballs. And I'm trying to look at the pattern and there's a whole bunch of like uh, backstitch lines all over the place and then you have to figure out if you're quarter stitching in this side or that side. Anyways, I'm sure some of you understand what I'm saying. Yesterday's project was Serenity in Endymion. Endymion? I never know how to pronounce his name. Sakia told me once that I was close. So is that one. And this was also um, a page start because for Mania, uh, my goal was to get as many page finishes as I could. So by the time I came... Whoa, holy cheese and crackers. What happened here? I folded it funky. Okay, anyways. Um, and I really need to learn how to serge my edges, but that requires me touching the sewing machine. And we all know how I feel about that. So... Oh my, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um... For Stitch Mania, my focus was page finishes. Get as many page finishes as I could. So, this was a new start. Page start. I keep saying new start, but it's not. So here's where I'm at. So, with the B mine, I'm working left to right. And with Serenity, I'm working up and down. Because I want to see if there's a difference. If I feel like there's a difference. If one way works better for me than the other. So, here's page one, page two, and I'm on now page three. And I got a little bit of that one color done. So, there's that. And I don't want to get my stitches on the outside. Let's put those on the inside. There's that one. And there we go. Those are all my pages. Not my pages, those are all my projects. Christmas projects, because I did not come back last week, although there was a video put out last week. It was from the week before, therefore I feel like it was cheating. Um, so, last week of July, first week of August all put together. I talked through my color street. I'm super excited y'all. Super excited. So we'll just continue into the life update in case you didn't watch the stitch with me. Um, I think that the stitch with me videos are going to be a little more, um, not necessarily personal, but because I won't be talking about all the things that I worked on throughout the week or two weeks. Um, it's just focused on whatever my brain is working on in the moment. So, because I'll be talking specifically about the one project that I'm stitching on, or um, counting, I have a feeling that's going to play a lot into my videos, and um, I'm not really talking about anything else per se like I would in a floss tube video, I think my Stitch With Me's might be a little more personal. Not so much like, let me tell you what my blood type personal is. I don't know why that's so scary. Like, why why are people scared to tell people their blood type? Anyways, not the point. Sorry, see? Random. Um, but I just think it'll be a little more personal to, like, what's going on in my life, what's being thought of in my head, because squirrel. Um, whereas with floss tubes, it's a little more structured for me, not that you could tell, but it's talking specifically about my projects, a little glimpse of what's going on in my life, and, um, like, my color street, things like that. 
and then my scissor fobs will be specifically talking about the scissor fob that I'm working on for that day um, I think I haven't done one yet so I can't say for certain and my mind spins consistently non-stop to the point where sometimes I can't catch up so I never really know what's gonna happen or what I'm gonna say or what I'm gonna do um, but my son little Jonah is now in junior high <sighs> sorry had to take a breather for a moment um, he's now in junior high which now means he is able to join student council which is something that he's wanted to do for a couple years um, my older daughter Brianna is in student council she was in student council off and on throughout her junior high and has stuck with it through her entire high school career she's a junior now and so it's something that Jonah has watched and idolized and loved the fact that she's done and he's kind of seen like the things that she does for school with school and things like that and he's wanted to join well he finally gets to join this year and the way I guess that it works is that anybody who wants to join has to fill out you know a form about questions about themselves and then they have to write an essay about why they think they'd be good for student council and then the teachers who are running it actually go through everything and then decide okay these people are a good fit for student council. These are the people that we want in our student council this year. And then from there, that list gets sent to the peers, and the peers decide to plug in what name with what position that they want to work, if that makes sense. Jonah got selected for VP. Now, president is only eighth grade. Um, that slot is available only to the eighth graders. And so each class has, I'm sorry, let me rephrase. The eighth grader president is president of all student council. And then each class, sixth, seventh, and eighth, have their own vice presidents per grade. So Jonah was elected for vice president. And all weekend long, I've heard the words, I don't want to, I quit, I really want to do this. I don't even know how many times. And so, and it was a whole family. We all helped him out. We all put in an effort to help him, to encourage him. and. A light bulb kind of went off and this is pretty much what I talked about in my stitch with me a light bulb pretty much went off that I was watching my son allow fear to stop him and as a mother you want the best for your kids and you don't ever want fear to be the reason why they don't do so. I mean obviously like don't stand on the edge of Grand Canyon because you're afraid and then fall off like that's not what I'm getting at Sometimes I have to specify with my son. <laughs> but if you're afraid of being successful, then you'll never succeed. And so with my son trying out for this vice president, then what if they don't like my speech? What if I don't say something right? What if I don't say something that I'm supposed to say and now I don't get in? What if the teachers don't like my essay? What if my speech doesn't sound right? What if I look like a... A goofball in front of the camera what if we can't get this you know what if I keep fumbling my words what if what if what if what if what if what if and it came down to Jonah do you really want to be be vice president because you want to be vice president or just because you got nominated and he's like no mom I really want this I go okay then the I I can't I don't know how I don't know where to begin all those words stop right now they have to stop you're already setting yourself up to fail before you've even started you haven't even tried yet you haven't tried to write a speech you haven't tried to figure out what you're gonna say or what you're gonna do your page is blank so you're setting yourself up to fail because you haven't had a single positive thought of what could go right if you just tried as I'm preaching all of this to my son of course my own personal light bulb goes off and says hmm so why haven't you done that stitch with me yet why haven't you made those scissor bobs yet why haven't you done your monthly subscription for your color street yet right because you're afraid somebody's not gonna like them so in turn I come up with the new motto in my life which I'm gonna have to remember and stick 
everywhere all over the place in front of the mirrors and TVs and computers and cell phones and stitchy projects and all the things. It's time to get rid of my fear and get in gear. I, I just, and I actually said that backwards. It's time to get in gear and get rid of the fear. That's how I quoted it. It's just time. So I did a stitch with me. My husband is my hero because he's the one who created the Gidge box and showed me how to be able to send the links to people for those who are interested. And um, he set up the the whole like Square account so that way I can do my invoices and he showed me how to do the invoices and just all the things. So hopefully a lot of good things are coming. I'm super excited. Update on the boy, he was allowed to use his video because we recorded a video for him and the husband did all the editing. And we will know hopefully by Friday whether or not he won. So on Monday, stitch with me, you guys will know first if he won. Unless we edit it Friday night when I do the fobs. We'll see what happens. On that note, I will bid you adieu. Stay random. Don't kiss your projects. And I'll see you next time.